Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Disillusioned Plays, where we do the games and play the voices. That wasn't the right order, but we're going to roll with it anyway. Uh, unfortunately, yes. last time, Kazuma has died or been murdered, um, according to my Maybe. expectations, but Sarah was very hurt. And, unfortunately, in a turn of events that uh, is actually counter to the previous games, the protagonist is actually framed for murder and not the judicial assistant. Which is a refreshing change of pace yes. in some sense, but also, uh, now we've got to prove that we didn't kill somebody. Uh, so, we're about to try to investigate and prove our innocence and figure out who killed Kazuma and why. But before we get into that, I'm Taylor. I'm Pete. And I'm sad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. Sarah. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do the game and play the voices. Yes. Yes, that one. <laughs> let's do yes, it. Yes, you could say that Ryanosuke has found himself in found himself in deep water. Oh. Because <laughs> they're, the they're on a ship. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not. You're not having it. No. See, no. even even Cesaro agrees. Oh dear, that won't do. No. Oh, come on! <laughs> That's, it. That's it. Come on! Who doesn't love a pun? <laughs> come on! Come on! Give me some slack here. <laughs> oh, dear. That won't do. I'm joking here. Oh? Uh, what's the matter, Suzato san? Whenever I'm examining things, I always find myself so focused, I forget to look around properly. <laughs> Don't you mean examine? <laughs> So why don't you look around by using the left analog stick? The what? The what, what the heck is one of those? <laughs> ah, yes, uh, that's not good. I don't suppose you're as foolish as me in that regard, are you, narahodo san Ha 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 We've not looked around the room yet at all. Oh dear, yeah. I oh. seem to be seeing Help. a vision of a... Arrows? Oh dear, I seem to have hit my head Wait. quite hard. <laughs> Wait, ah. Kazuma, you're here! That's your it. spirit! <laughs> Hand handy hologram ghost. I'm sure you're careful to look around using... Oh, ugh, sorry, I'll start again. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm just I'm just curious as to how you're going to say the uh, the icons. Uh, yeah. I'm sure you're careful to look around all around using... The right... <laughs> I can't do it! The left and the right D-pad right buttons. The left and right D-pad, aren't you? Yes, I mean, I too, whenever I'm examining a room, use the left and right D-pad to make sure that I see everything. It's funny because Absolutely. it's such a minor change in the scenery as well. Like, you're only going over, like, half an inch. Yeah. In yeah, terms of yeah. perspective. Yeah. Now, let's investigate all corners of this cabin. Okay. Yep, Shwing. there's two There's two corners that we can see. Yes! Let's do that! I suppose my field of vision has been rather small until now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Oh, 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 that's nice. It's got the hole that oh, we've already investigated. This. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. I that's think, an I think improvement from the previous that. games. Did, did oh, the trilogy yeah, no. do that though? They did, didn't they? No, yeah. They had the, it was the magnifying glass and the tick in the magnifying yeah, yeah. glass. Yeah, Oh, that's true. The old ones. Yes. That's a very large traveling case, isn't it? Yes. Yes. It carries <laughs> a lot of memories for me. Yes. Memories? What do you mean? You well, know, I was really stuck me. in there for about, uh, you know, a couple of hours. I solely felt the air leaving my lungs because Kazuma didn't put any holes in there. And so I strongly <laughs> believed that I was going to perish. I was breathing my own ass gas for, oh. for hours, pal. Oh, no. You know, it really bugs me that Susato, every time she, like, when she talks, like, her mouth is like a square shape. It I, is? Yeah, yeah, you, you watch when she talks. It really bugs me. Okay. Well, that's actually how I stowed away on this vessel. I was brought on board inside that case. I suppose. Like yeah. when it's front on in particular, mm. when she's like looking straight at you, her mouth's like a square. It's oh, weird. Okay. <laughs> ah, yes. I see it says this way up in Japanese. But unfortunately, no one here can read Japanese. <laughs> uh, which, in hindsight, I should have real I should have realized the foreign <laughs> crewman wouldn't be able to read. Called it. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was turned over and over and over, and then I was tossed on the floor in here. Oh dear. Being a stowaway isn't as romantic as it sounds. Well, it was well, less painful than a Susato takedown. I mean, if you if you learn about the world only by reading like Mills and Boone, then like you are, you, are gonna have, like, a, you are gonna have like a bit of a weird so, uh, take yeah, on the world. Yeah, Mills and Boone is a very old like book series that was a bit raunchy and a bit risque in the I'm just thinking, in like, Britain. Like, ooh, a romantic stowaway. Ooh. Yeah, it's not. It's kind of just trashy, risque love novel. It's like low, low, low I wanted the mysterious, the <laughs> <stra> handsome stranger <laughs> to stow away well, in my cabin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I took uh... a very vested interest in all of the semen on board the vessel. Uh, <laughs> hey, you watch your mouth. <laughs> uh, the books have fallen over on the shelf. Look, they've all toppled the same way. And what's this? A statue of some god of the sea? Although he's fallen over as well. Like yes, the figure. god of the sea, the nondescript god of the sea that's uh, missing any kind of iconography that would suggest as much. Yes, yeah, definitely uh, not Poseidon, is it's it? Just like a guy no doing a it's like a guy doing star jumps. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's almost as if the whole shelf has been ransacked and everything mown down at once. I wonder if... Perhaps it was Kazuma-sama doing his morning sword training, do you think? Oh, I... I... <laughs> seriously doubt it. I think there'd be a lot of pages all over and books cut in half if that was the no, case. No, because what Kazuma would do is he would kind of like briefly un like unsheathe the sword and then all the books would be cut in half. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and then the whole room just falls apart around it. <laughs> Oh dear! All the all the like water comes psych <laughs> into it. <laughs> then perhaps it was you, Naruhuda-san, in a fit of rage. That's oh, right. Well, well that turned in the back on me rather quickly, didn't it? <laughs> I wouldn't have bothered leaving the wardrobe just to mess up a few books and a statue. Could the way these things have been thrown about have anything to do with the case? I wonder. Oh, it's so tutorial-y. Well, given that this is a oh. Phoenix Wright game, yeah. I would imagine so. It's not a Phoenix Wright game, though, is it, Taylor? It's an Ace Attorney game. Oh, stop it. He's there's a no, descendant. There's no Phoenix in this He's one. He's a descendant of Phoenix, though. Phoenix. Well, technically, Phoenix, Phoenix is his Phoenix. descendant, I think. Maybe. Yeah, yeah Sarah. I think oh. you, you mixed it up. <laughs> oh pish! <laughs> Go away. It's like unless, some, unless, unless, unless <laughs> that's the great family. twist of this game, right? Is that this is actually the post-apocalyptic world that took place after Phoenix, right? And it's only set oh, up God. for you to believe that it's a prequel, which would explain oh, the the inexplicably advanced technology that Herlock <laughs> has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's he gonna be my it. going, my running theory now. It's Naruhodo is it actually nobody, a descendant of Phoenix. No one knew what it would do, but he figured out that it was like, oh, it's some sort of goggles. Fantastic. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I'll just set everything straight again. I don't like to see a mess. Whoa, now! Whoa, don't no mess with the crime no scene, jeez! With the crime scene, don't Susato. mess with the evidence. Oh, too late. No, Susato, no! Susato, no! no. Oh, that's it. And now that'll come up in court, won't it? Of yeah. like, <laughs> the, but the bookcase was so neat. It's yeah. Like, oh, if only my silly assistant hadn't messed with it. <laughs> These are the rules of passage for travel aboard the SS Burya. Burya. It's essentially a list of requests from the captain to all passengers aboard. Passengers must not keep weapons or other. Oh dear. Oh oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> I say, looking point pointedly everywhere except where the katana is laying down. On the <laughs> well, I was thinking you could also argue that perhaps Ryanosuke is a dangerous object in the fact that they think that he's murdered somebody, so he could well. perhaps be a dangerous object. <laughs> Throw him overboard. Passengers must not keep weapons or other dangerous objects in their cabins. Pets are also strictly forbidden. 
I mean, Rinosuke could also be classed as a pet in this instance. And yeah, was true. Kept in the cupboard. Um, a bit of a strange <laughs> fantasy there, but... What? Why are you staring at me? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking. Are you more of a dangerous <laughs> object or a pet? <laughs> God, it's like we're predicting this. Like <laughs> Have we wrote this and we didn't know? <laughs> it is kind of obvious. I can't decide. Well, one thing's for sure. Either way, I wasn't supposed to be in here. Okay, do we... Let's see. Is it flashing? We could talk to Mr. Russian. Mm. Perhaps I should see what this Russian crewman makes of the scene of the crime. Um, excuse me. What? <laughs> da, what? <laughs> I, uh, I was wondering how it's going. Uh, the investigation, I mean. Do not speak to me. <laughs> Grandmother told me Japanese people do not make jokes, but is not true, I see. Sorry? The criminal asking <laughs> investigator for information about his crime? Very funny. I laugh. Criminal with a K. Yeah. <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> oh, it, it wasn't supposed to be a joke. Oh dear. He doesn't appear to be laughing. Laughing the better. He's convinced you are guilty. This is going well. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't appear to be laughing either. He's convinced you're guilty. I mean, Susato, your open accusations probably didn't help, if I'm being completely no. honest. Yeah. Maybe might... slightly colouring his opinion. He might have useful information, though. I have to keep trying. Uh, so, last night, did you notice anything out of the ordinary at all? You are still speaking to me? Yet! Of course not! <laughs> no, back to Korov's room and make silent! I say no more to you. Hmm. Did I hit a nerve? Just for a minute there, he seemed a little flustered. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I guess uh, Kazuma's sword. That's Kazuma-sama's precious sword. He never went anywhere without it. I never go anywhere without my precious sword either, pal. Oh. Hey, that's that's <laughs> naughty, pal. <laughs> what? It's a it's a replica of Satsuki's sword from Kill la Kill that my brother yeah. got me for my birthday. You're under arrest. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, he was always saying that a Japanese man's katana is his soul. I believe he had to work, f had to work very hard to convince the government to allow him to bring it on the trip. Tri <laughs> on the trip, run out of breath. <laughs> I suppose that shows just how important it was yeah. to him. Now he's gone, <laughs> but I'm not ready to let his spirit go just yet. I like to imagine that is like looking straight at Sarah when he's saying these things, just like <laughs> rubbing it in. <laughs> he just turns straight to the camera. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Uh, is this gonna be a thing where it's like whenever he needs assistance, he just touches the sword and like he sees or hears Kazuma's spirit because he's like possessing it or something? Kaz Kazuma's I mean, spirit like leaps out of it and then starts going, there's a 90% chance oh, that you're not going to God, solve this no, thing. No, no, no. <laughs> that is an insult there's to Kazuma. Do not compare him to Fi. Like, no. There's a 99% no. <laughs> chance that you that you probably need to look at this room. And then like a second later, the tutorial said, you should probably examine the room. I've got no idea what you're <laughs> referencing. Mm. He's basically referencing uh, Fi, who is from, like, it's from Skyward Sword, and it's basically kind of like there's Na'vi, there's Midna, like Fi is Skyward Sword's uh, but assistant, she just, like, but she's, she's she just always says, incessant. She says like really obvious stuff literally as you're doing it. Yeah. So it's, uh, like, it's like you've already figured it out, so, but she's like, oh, by the way, you need to do this. I'm already doing it's it. Like, <laughs> you'll walk up to the dungeon and then she'll go like, you know, you're literally heading to the door and then she'll pop out and be like, oh. By the way, there's a 99.9% .9 chance that this is the dungeon. You should probably check this out. It's like, I know. No crap, I know. Sherlock. No <laughs> this, crap. This is, <laughs> this is why Link in Breath of the Wild destroyed all of his weapons. <laughs> Specifically so that he didn't he have to act. have any, 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 any things <laughs> popping out of it to offer him guidance. That's my dinner from last night. A roast chicken. It was really tasty. 
Yes, it was very delicious, wasn't it? I mean, laid on the floor like that, it does make him look like he might have been a pet. Yeah. <laughs> but <clears throat> did you eat it on the floor here? I'm not a dog, Suzato-san. I ate at the table, of course. And then I threw my bones on the floor like a savage. Nah. Which begs the question of when and how the plate ended up on the floor. Hmm. Hmm. But Kazuma-sama didn't like the chicken at all, did he? No, that's right. So he didn't touch it. Which meant all the more for me. Oh no! Does that, does that mean? Poor Kazuma-sama spent his last night on Earth with an empty belly? It's just too horrible. <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh, now I suddenly have a guilty conscience and an achy stomach. Oh dear. I just cannot get her voice right. Don't, don't worry. It's annoying me. I just I don't know what voice to give her. It's annoying. It's I don't I can't really sense that it's changing. Oh, it has. It's, it keeps going like high pitched, really British, then almost French. It's just like oh, I'm, I'm just gonna sack myself. Well, she it's does. She, yeah, what you've done so far has been kind of like English, but then with a little hint of an accent of some kind, slightly non-specific. Might be European, might be Asian. It's hard to tell. <laughs> but I mean, it's been consistent. <laughs> Don't be mean to yourself. That's you correct. You can do it. Seigi, Seigi, the Japanese word for justice. The brush strokes are straight and true, just like Kazuma was. <laughs> yes, his calligraphy was always a reflection of his heart. Yes, you... Can you really look on those characters without feeling shame, knowing who drew them so thoughtfully? Oh, stop it. Of course I can! I mean, I'm innocent, so why shouldn't I be able to? Oh, grumpy face. Even though you stowed away on this ship? Uh, <laughs> now you're going oh. to bring that up, are you? I can't win. Okay, so... Oh <laughs> She's not giving him a break, is she? She absolutely is not. We will get to this. We will get to this. I'm no, getting rid of the menial no, stuff. I no, I he's doing the call to thing. I shall investigate everything else in this room <laughs> yeah, first. Yeah, that's, that's it. Pick up the book and turn it over about 20 times in our hand. <laughs> to find Excuse the one me. Pixel there is body on. outline on the floor. You not want to look at that? <laughs> no, no, I'm fine. I'm examining this bit of cigarette. I'm, exactly I'm examining right. this tablecloth. <laughs> the craftsmanship is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> On the tablecloth. <laughs> yeah, could okay. be a cotton tablecloth. It's white, Sarah. It's a white tablecloth. <laughs> so the craftsmanship. It could be counted. It could. It could be counted the thread count. Very, On it. very okay. high thread count. <laughs> it's true. It's yeah. true. It could be. You're right. You're right. Okay, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Yeah. Egyptian cotton finest. <laughs> Egyptian cotton finest. Right. That's it. There's nothing on this table at all. Actually not true, there is a tablecloth. <laughs> the plates and cutlery are all over the floor for some reason. Yes, it's strange. Last night when I went to sleep, I'm sure everything was still. No, uh, wait a minute. What is it? I'm uh, that's funny. Something. I, I can't seem to remember anything about what happened after dinner at all. So, so then perhaps you are responsible this for what happened to This is going to take a lot longer if everything is going to loop back around to me somehow having killed him. No, no, no! <laughs> okay. I don't believe you. Might just have a look on the other side. Okay, I don't so. believe you. <laughs> <laughs> what is this thing? It would it's appear a, to be a... It's a, a bell. Oh! It's to ring, I guess, to ring for room service. Yes, yes, mm. yes, of course. This is... yes, it's a bell cord contraption, I think. What do you mean, contraption? I read about it in a book I was studying that talked about life in Great Britain. Large households often have bell cords like this, which you can pull to ring a bell to summon servants. I mean, yeah, can, can you, you guys can confirm, right? Your house has one of those. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, we've got the butler and everything. Just, we just lock him in the fridge. I don't know. We just you, you pull a cord and then the light turns on, pal. That's that's. Uh, I mean, there's no there's no servants. <laughs> it just the light turns on. <laughs> really? 
That sounds almost magical. Well, it is pretty impressive the first time it happens. Uh, ah, all of the thinking. Uh, shall we give it a little try? Yes! In the interests of culture research, obviously. Ding. Uh. uh. Hmm? There is nothing. I suppose nobody comes for a lowly Japanese people. No, no, I'm sure it's just that everyone is busy, that's all. Also, there is a large, cranky Russian gentleman at the door, so I imagine that probably <laughs> yes. has something to do okay. with it as well. So there's this vent up here. I think that's some kind of opening <coughs> for a ventilator. Excuse me. A hole through which fresh air can circulate into the cabin. Isn't this a little odd? What do you mean? Uh, well, this ventilator, if that's what it is, looks like it must connect to the next door cabin. Yes, it would appear to. You're right. Uh, but if its purpose is to allow fresh air into the room, surely it should be connected to the outside. Hmm, that's true. Yaddy yaddy. <laughs> Perhaps it's so that rain and spray don't find their way into uh, find their way in when the seas are rough, or something like that. I don't want to be smelling the next door passenger's cigarette smoke all bloody night. <laughs> I suppose... maybe that's it. Okay. Yeah, that's no not ever gonna come up later at all. No. <laughs> what you don't okay, know is that that was the vent through which the poisonous gas was pumped! Oh no! Oh no. It's some two weeks since we set sail from Japan. Have you really been living in the wardrobe the entire time, Narahoda-san? I think living isn't quite the right description. Oh, no, I suppose not. Although it must have been rather exciting, making this voyage in your own secret hideout. Uh, the trouble was, I never knew when a member of the crew might come in. So yes, I did basically have to live in the wardrobe. And last night was no exception. But because of that, you had no idea what was happening out here in the cabin. Uh, n no, sadly not. <sighs> okay then, team. It's time to actually look at the important stuff. No. So, <laughs> so no, I no. Let's look at. If the, I ignore okay, the oh, no. outline, he will come back to life. <laughs> well, I yes. almost feel like th these are going to be the same thing, aren't they? I think. Okay, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Did you They're oh, the no? same picture. Okay. Oh. What do you think this is? It looks like a broken piece of glassware. Whatever the thing was, it appears to have broken clean and... <laughs> as if cut by a sword. Oh, no. Oh. The glass is such a beautiful color. It looks like a cute little Nasuke fastener from a kimono outfit. Nasuke. I'm not sure that sounds like Kazuma, although I suppose he could have been doing anything while I was in the wardrobe, so to speak. He wouldn't have secretly carried a cute little trinket like this around with him. Would he? So that no, is like, I mean, oh, that's mine! Ha -ha -ha. <laughs> <laughs> and the mark besides it. What is it, I wonder? It has a sort of brick-like hue. Well, it can't be blood, because as Dang and Rampa has taught us, that is pink. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, right. It is the color of brick, isn't it? There is a suspicious lack of blood, although that being said, mm. that could be dried blood, which would explain it being so dark. Mm. Even but though I may not be. don't see anything of the same color anywhere else in the cabin. I right, like that the mark go. is a completely different width and shape from when we were examining yeah, yeah, yeah. that picture. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, did, did Kazuma write that before he died? It looks like it's written in ink. He must have knocked the ink pot from the desk when he collapsed on the floor. Then I suppose he wrote this message by dipping his fingers in the spillage. Okay, guys, so I can confirm that the killer is Godivadal. Godivadal. Because that's what it says upside down. So that's the killer. God, uh, God, 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 God
D E V D A L. God, God, Zal. So that's it. I've solved the case. Oh no, I suppose it'd be a J at the end. God of Jag. God of Dadge. God. To God anyone Eve. in our Russian audience watching, we're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but in like, I just, I'm just like, it feels like a trope that like, whenever there's writing anywhere, check that, check what it is upside down first. Yeah. Because we've had two cases of that in Phoenix Wright, and we've had it in Danganronpa. Yeah, yeah, we have. <laughs> I read it. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> I was too busy think trying to read it upside down. Poor Kazuma Sama. No, no doubt he was in terrible pain. It's almost unbearable to imagine it. I suppose he was trying to leave some kind of a clue in his final moments, was he? No, he just wrote down, I hate vegetables. <laughs> I <laughs> dislike I hate chicken. chicken. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I bloody hate chicken, I do. <sighs> I'm sorry, partner, but I can't read your writing. If only there was some kind of Russian gentleman who might be able to translate! Nah. <laughs> Duh. I don't think that's Japanese, narahoda san uh, but yes. Yes, <laughs> you're correct, what? Suzato. Yes, that does not look like... What? Then then, then what language is it? You don't think Ryunosuke can't... He, he, I'm sure he, it's, he's not going to come out that he can't really read very well. Because that uh, just seems weird that they'd have to sort of make that connection. Mm. And that he'd be like, oh no, I suppose it isn't. <laughs> like, it's obviously there, not. There is literally an example of Russian writing on the wall behind yeah. you. Yeah. And, and there some Japanese, of like, Japanese. Uh, kanji. Yeah. yeah. It pains me to admit it, but I don't know. It's not a foreign script I'm familiar with. What does it mean, I wonder? Oh, oh, but what the, the where the hell did F? he come from? A, <coughs> hmm. Oh dear, I, well, I seem to have something in my- Good gracious! <laughs> where on earth did he come from? I'm sorry, but that that just does not- That- Who's that? Well, he, he wasn't there a minute ago. As far as I can tell, it looks like he might be European. As far as I can <laughs> tell, upside down. Oh! How did he- uh, you've noticed the man too, have you? Very good. I was worried it was a hallucination. <laughs> I've no idea who he is or how he got in here, but he looks suspicious and and tall. Suspiciously tall. <laughs> You're right there. I'm sorry. I just like the and and tall. Suspiciously Suspic tall. I just like the the suspiciously. tall. Tall. <laughs> just, just the way, I'm sorry. That just that tickled me a little bit. <laughs> it was a bit Monty Pythony almost. <coughs> Narahoda-san, don't tell me. Do you really not know who that is? How have we not seen him? I don't understand. <laughs> why, why couldn't we see him? Like, yeah, how did like, he get in? Where did he come from? Um. Well. No, I don't have any foreign friends or acquaintances at all. Actually, that that writing desk wasn't closed, was it? It's been open the it's whole time. Yeah, it's been open yeah. the okay. entire yeah, time. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's gonna so come just... out the wardrobe or something, because <laughs> we never actually looked at the wardrobe. Yeah, it'll just be some mystery. He doesn't look like a member of the crew. There's something very unusual about him. And is he investigating Cosmos' desk, or is he just playing on it? I can't tell. Also, the hinges on that door must be very strong, because they would yeah, most likely collapse like under a man's weight otherwise. Well, in that case, we simply must talk with him. Am I just imagining it, or does Suzato san almost look uncontrollably excited? By the way... I expect that you've noticed already, but just in case. If you press A on people when they're in the crosshairs, you can converse with them. What, oh, what thank goodness, mean, because otherwise I wouldn't have gotten this far! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, then I'll get that suspiciously tall gentleman in my sights and see what he has to say for himself. Oh, please do! Uh, oh, God. Okay! Examen. Examine the guy who wasn't there. <laughs> Is he dead? Yeah, he's got it. He does look like he, he could be dead. Yeah. 
Um, excuse me. Excuse me! Do you have a moment? Shh. Shh. This is a critical point in my investigation. All right, then. Most odd. Most strange. Uh, maybe I should leave him alone. He seems a little unfriendly. Yes, perhaps that would be for the best. Oh, oh he's oh, gone. Oh, 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 Yes. Uh, uh. Oh dear. Ah, I see. Fascinating. Zvadi? Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait a second. Uh, sorry. W what do you see? It feels like he's looking right through me. Oh no, my clothes! Oh. <laughs> oh yes, everything is clear now. Actually, I think Luke did say that. <laughs> <laughs> the train of reasoning has run its course. My deductions have crystallized. You have been in Afghanistan, I perceive. Just recently returned, if I am not mistaken. What? He's not Doctor. He's not Doctor Watson. <laughs> no. <laughs> so no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what? And now, whilst venturing toward foreign cl climes, you find yourself in a most troubling predicament. Yes, well, I don't believe you need to be a detective to detect that one, seeing as how I am now mm. locked in here with a large, angry gentleman barring the door. <laughs> oh! Well, that's true, at least. Well, you don't need to be quite so rude. <laughs> uh, but... but how? <laughs> how the juice? Did I know that, perhaps? It was really a most elementary deduction. Hardly he said the thing. He said the thing, guys. Pack it he up did. and go home. He said the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm just, I'm just smiling now, because I don't know. I'm feeling a bit fangirly now. <laughs> it's like he's my Sarah, favorite guy. Sarah does like the Herlock show. I do, I do. <laughs> and she really hates it when people get his name wrong, like all of these silly <laughs> English writers. <laughs> You know, everyone knows he's Herlock. I like Herlock I like the jokes. little brass accents on his pipe. Yeah. Yes, I do as well. <laughs> Have you perhaps managed to deduce anything else? Ah, yes. You look like you could be a female. Uh, that <laughs> that of gaze, that angle gaze is a little suspicious, I will say. <laughs> yeah, I've yeah. Read many things. There is no mystery, my dear madam. For example, you have fled your na native land of Russia, being as you are a merciless revolutionary. What? Do I sound Russian you to you? You leave 16 victims of assassination in your wake, and now travel to England to blow up the Crystal Tower. Egads, not the Crystal Tower. <laughs> that and famous British the... landmark that stands adjacent to Big Ben. Yes. <laughs> and... And when the beribboned occupant of this very cabin discovered your identity, you ended his life, too. Oh, well... Yes, I believe that summarizes the facts beautifully. No need to hide the truth now. Nothing dece <clears throat> deceives these eyes. Um, just to be clear, you are talking about me, are you? Certainly I am. <laughs> Do you see another in this cabin who fits the bill? A Russian assassin with 16 victims to his name? Is that the crewman? Is he like, he <laughs> actually figured it out, but it's just the wrong person? <laughs> Is he like that yeah. one cat in Adventure Time who's like, I have an approximate knowledge of every of many things, Fred the Human. <laughs> <laughs> It kind of feels like it could be. <laughs> I don't see even one person who fits the bill. Well, I mean, to be fair, the crewman has left, so... Yeah. He scampered away quickly. Uh, so it's true. It was you who did this to Kazuma-sama. Uh, Suzato, <laughs> calm down! Sake. Jeez. Calm down, girl! She needs, like, 
Hit him with like a little What? Mallet. Yeah. Bonk. And you're plotting a revolution too? It's shameful behavior, Narahodo-san. Absolutely wicked. I like that she manages to kind of be as naive. Oh. Oh, oh. I've been thrown. <laughs> That she manages to be nice. like as naive as Maya, but in a completely different way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, listen, there's nice. no way. I... <laughs> <laughs> now explain yourself. Tell me everything. This is ridiculous. Is oh, that the and then he died from a concussion. Yeah. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> How could you do it? For pity's sake, open your eyes. I'm not a Russian revolutionary. Obviously. Uh, oh, forgive me. And as for you, what kind of deduction was that? You were just saying the first thing that came into your head. Hmm. Ah, but uh, but was I not right? No. Whilst ve <laughs> whilst venturing toward foreign climes, you do find yourself in a most troubling predicament, do you not? Oh, well, yes, maybe. Ha! There you have it, you see. What do you make of that? Hmm? Well, to be honest... Yes, 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 yes. I get a lot of fan mail all the time. This ship is en route to England, and I'm in handcuffs at the scene of a murder. Uh, so, I'm not really sure you could call it deduction. It's more plain observation. Hmm... Indeed. And observation, my dear boy, is the basis of all deduction. My method is founded upon the observation of trifles, you see. I announce my findings with a brassy certitude. And more often than not, I'm right. Uh, I don't think you introduced yourself. Hmm. Ah. My apologies. How remiss of me. I am none other than the greatest detective of the century, known to men and women the world over. The, <laughs> the inimitable Herlock Inimitable. Sholmes. Inimitable blah, 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 Herlock Sholmes. So, it's really you? The actual Herlock Sholmes? I had to really think about <laughs> saying the that. Very <laughs> the very same. The imitable, in 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 in, 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 in there. I can't say it. I can't. In, I just can't say it. Inimitable. I'll get there. I'll get there. Leave me alone. <laughs> the very same. The inimitable, actual Herlock Sholmes. Do you know this man, Susato san The most famous detective in the world? Well, no, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> He's not. He doesn't exist yet. <laughs> do I? No, just, do no, I? <laughs> I am eternal. Do you? I am mind? inevitable. <laughs> <laughs> Narahodo-san, of course I do. There's nobody who hasn't heard of him. What planet have I been living on then? <laughs> we must ask him what he's deduced. He will have worked out the entire case already, I'm sure. Really? Why do I feel uneasy about this? Converse. <laughs> so Sarah's happy now. Now Chasm is dead, but she's met some. But she's met her. Like, I, am, I am. I am sad. Chasm is dead, but like her like, shows. It. So she was Yee! sad, but now she's happy. I'm like happy sad. Happy, <laughs> happy sad. Happy sad. <laughs> happy sad. <laughs> so you're a great detective, are you? Sorry, what was your name again? Hmm. Indeed, I am none other than the one and only Herlock Sholmes. Oh, I see. You're German? <laughs> Erlock. Erlock, <laughs> was it? <laughs> no, no. I have no hair. I mean, I well, I have hair. Please call me Sholmes. You can read all about my exploits in this exciting <laughs> London publication. <laughs> oh yes, Ranst magazine, full of wonderful short stories and interest articles from Great Britain. I just love that the guy's got the monocle and the top hat on the cover. Just like, well, mwah, yeah. perfect. Yeah, I mean, that's how we all dress in, in, yeah, in, in London. 
because that's yeah. where we live in London. London. <laughs> because London in fact, only. you, you two are exists. recording this episode in top hats and monocles right now, isn't that right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Even the cats have got little tiny monocles and hats on. That's, that's it. how British we are. Yeah. With, with sipping tea yep. and eating fish and chips. There you go. We are true Britons. <laughs> 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 mm. <laughs> and we're having afternoon tea later. <laughs> I never miss an issue. I have a scent from England, especially. Isn't that like is she must be like six months behind then in the time it <laughs> yeah. takes to get there? <laughs> Once like, yeah. my freaking carrier pigeon. Like ridiculously expensive <laughs> the, postage. The fastest carrier pigeon. <laughs> Ah, yes, here it is. The Adventures of Herlock Sholmes. Sholmes. So, you're the protagonist in a series of short sisters. <laughs> <laughs> you're the protagonist in a series of short stories, then. Did you just, like, disappear into a black hole or something? Yeah, <laughs> Taylor, that was that noise. Taylor.exe has stopped just, working. He just, like, <laughs> folded away on himself. Yep. Indeed I am. This is getting a little bit too meta for me. <coughs> and you've read so many of your own stories, you've started to think you really are a detective? Make no mistake. I'm not the poor, deluded fellow you take me for. Oh, thank heavens. Your inference is backward. Uh, backward? My trusty biographer records my greatest detecting achievements and chronicles them in the magazine. You have a biographer, do you? Doesn't everyone? Mine goes by the name of Dr. Wilson, pre presently keeping shop in London. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. Dr. No. Wilson? I must say, thanks to that publication, I've been fantastically busy of late. <laughs> Why, this very moment I am returning from Asia, having solved the mystery of a cursed royal crown. Really? I, I can't work out whether I should take this man seriously or not. Deduction, you see, to me, sorry, you see, is to me a science. Logical reasoning in its purest form. A science? Really? <laughs> the astute really? observer notices even the most subtle of reactions in his subject. A furtive glance, a twitch of a muscle, a slight inclination of the posture. Fingernails, arm sleeves, furrows in the skin. All these things are data. Right. And the trained logician... Logician? Logician? And the trained logician makes deductions from this data in the blink of an eye. The ultimate conclusion is, without fail, the truth. As I demonstrated only a few short moments ago. How can he look me in the eye and claim that? So you see, I have a turn both for observation and for deduction and fame. That is what makes me the one and only, uh, no, Herlock Sholmes. <laughs> Hair. <laughs> Hair look. Have you managed to deduce anything about this particular case yet that doesn't involve framing me for it? <laughs> Have I managed to deduce anything? My dear fellow. Who do you suppose discovered the culprit in its most cunning hiding place? That's right. It was none other than the great detective before you now, Mr. Herlock Sholmes. Ah, I see. In other words... He does have, like, an unfathomably large ego, doesn't he? Like, just the whole, like, yeah. he has to end every sentence with, Yes, it was I, Herlock Sholmes! Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, in case you don't know who I am, Herlock Sholmes! <laughs> well, an ace just... detective must make his presence known to those around him. I mean, that's it. <laughs> just like, oh, finally, we can leave this case and do the next one. And remember <laughs> my name! <laughs> Herlock <laughs> you frightened the cat. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kitty. It's, it's important business. Dad, <laughs> why are you yelling? <laughs> Mommy, I'm in these now me. because of him. It's like, uh, the humans are yelling again. 
When I became anxious about Kazuma-sama this morning, I summoned all of the crew members to force the cabin door open. And I concealed myself among their number, gaining entry to the scene of the crime. Yes, luckily for everyone, the great <laughs> detective Herlock Herlock Show <laughs> was on board. Don't ruin it. <laughs> and the handcuffs seem to be an excellent fit, Mr. Narahudo. <laughs> <laughs> The very moment I laid eyes on the scene, two facts were immediately apparent to me. Oh, really? Two facts, you say? Whoa. Oh, oh. 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 Da, 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 da. Fancy. Mm. <laughs> uh, Mr. Sholmes, tell us, please. What two facts were apparent to you when you came into the cabin this morning? Well, for one, there was a dead body. <laughs> <laughs> one! There was a dead body in the room. Two! There was a great mess in the room. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Two things yes. you must know about this room. <laughs> but first, let us be precise. The two facts in question were immediately apparent to me. Yes, yes, I understand. But what were they? Allow me to elucidate. The two facts that I deduced from a mere momentary glance at the scene of the crime were as follows. Number one, the cabin was locked from within, rendering escape of the culprit out of the question. Number two, the victim was Russian and killed, follow uh, and killed following a dispute with an acquaintance. Beg pardon? Uh, what? Uh, hold on, Mr. Sholmes. Uh, what made you think the victim was Russian? Observe the dying message left by the victim on the floor. Yes, yes, the Russian gentleman named Kazuma. <laughs> that is the Russian word for wardrobe. Do, do you really think Kazuma-sama would have left a dying message in Russian? It was so that they would get Naruhoto out of the wardrobe, presumably, so he didn't just mm. die in there. <coughs> yeah. In their final moments, many find their native tongue filling their head. For this young man, Russian. Kazuma. Was Russian? Was he? <laughs> Initially, I considered Gardarob. Maybe the name of the killer. Perhaps Robert Gard, perhaps. But in the interest of thoroughness, I decided it would be wrong not to look inside the wardrobe there, at least. Where well, you found Mr. Narahodo sleeping soundly. Quite so. I found you, the renowned Russian revolutionary killer. Uh, why is it that I'm Russian, too? Uh, I observe that you are wearing the same attire as the victim. In other words, you were acquainted. And if my memory serves, that outfit is the traditional dress of the Russian people. Uh, our school uniforms are the traditional dress of the Russian people? I... I had no idea. <laughs> uh, and so I cool. had no idea a detective could get something so wrong. I took a photograph of the victim and the message that I might analyze it for possible hidden details. Oh, there we is. This... This was taken immediately after the young man was discovered, before the body was removed. Yes, Cosmo had already been taken away when I woke up. This is the first time I've actually seen him like this. Are you alright, Mr. Narahodo? Oh, uh, um, yes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, can I ask you something, Mr. Sholmes? What, pray? You mentioned Russia before as well. No, he's only said it like five times. <laughs> Russia. <laughs> Russia. He's almost said it as many times as the Great Herlock Sholmes! <laughs> <laughs> Whatever do you mean? You mentioned his Russia as well before, didn't you? You know, when you said I was a fearsome revolutionary from fleeing from Russia and all of that. 
Ah, yes. The train of reasoning that led me to the truth. Seems as if you got off at the wrong station. Or missed your connecting <laughs> departure. How would dare you, would you, you mind sir. explaining that train of reasoning to me, do you think? Uh, pfft, wardrobe. Certainly, <laughs> if it interests you. How many times? Uh, I'm not Russian, and I don't speak Russian. Da 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 da. Um, uh, can we talk about your deduction before the things you concluded about me? I mean. Ah, the now famously accurate troubling predicament you find yourself in. Actually, it was the other details that I was more hoping to discuss. You know, the merciless Russian revolutionary and assassin of the 16 part? Hmm. Ah, yes. The more sordid details. It was a fairly commonplace deduction. I mean, yeah, I, I walked down the street, you know, <coughs> Russian assassin, Crimean assassin, <laughs> English assassin. Here we have this morning's paper. The main headline reads... Oh, he did it. Oh, he, oh, he, <laughs> yeah. di oh, he did it. He did it. <laughs> Revolutionary villain Borsh Borsh Borshevik flees Russia via Shanghai. Oh, my, oh, my villain, Bolshevik. villain yeah. Bolshevik. Villain yeah. Bolshevik. Villain. Are we <laughs> yeah. going there? Okay. Yep. Right. We went there. We went there. <laughs> <clears throat> This vessel made a port call at Shanghai yesterday, and last night the young Russian was murdered. Since when was Kazuma a Russian? I'm still stuck on that bit. Uh, it sounds like Mr. Sholmes has concluded he was Russian because of what Kazuma-sama wrote on the floor. It was a simple act of reasoning to realize that the culprit of this crime was the same merciless revolutionary. One who would kill the very man who helped him to escape after his true identity was discovered. Yes, you, villain Bolshevik. No, no, no! How could it be me? I don't look anything like this man! Just look at his face! Look are at his you telling beard! Me that your nose... <laughs> well, you are a fearsome revolutionary after all. Therefore, you have no doubt learned to revolutionize your oh, appearance as well. God. <laughs> Ugh, please. And, I might add, your name does not appear on the ship's passenger list. Need I say more? Well, that's because I'm a stowaway. What about the other details? The 16 victims of assassination and blowing up the Crystal Tower. You know, every time they say Crystal Tower, I just think of Final Fantasy XIV and the Crystal Tower that's there, <laughs> or the Crystal Tower that appears in every Final Fantasy game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, didn't you know that Big Ben is a Crystal Tower? <laughs> oh, like, no, I didn't, every, I didn't. Oh, is that why they've taken so long tower. to repair it? That's it. Everyone, <laughs> everyone knows that Big Ben is the Crystal Tower. Oh, so. God. <laughs> Ah, yes. The journalist clearly interviewed the man and printed all those particulars in the article. The deeds this man has perpetrated thus far, and those he is plotting. Yes, everything about this revolutionary Borshevik was included. There can be no mistake. Do, do revolutionaries usually agree to interviews with newspaper reporters, I wonder? And what about the part where you said I was just returning from Afghanistan? Also quite clearly stated here in the article. Borshevik is recently returned after a period of subversive activities in a war-torn region of Afghanistan. Where even is it anyway? The... <laughs> no, I mean, to be fair, to be fair, if you ask most Americans where Afghanistan is, they wouldn't know. There's no somewhere in somewhere in the Middle East. This Afghanistan place. Here, take the paper for yourself as a little memento of this great deduction. Oh, um, thank you. I've absorbed all that is of interest to me within its pages, but I see no rubbish bin nearby. <laughs> An article about the revolutionary has been entered into the This is where we open up the paper and there's like poison or something inside. <laughs> oh God. And you may find the article on the back page of interest as well. On the back? 
cast your eye over it sometime if the interest takes you, though you may need someone to interpret. It's all written in Russian. I couldn't hope to read it. But I suppose it wouldn't hurt just to glance at the article. Maybe there might be a picture or two. Do you have a quick look? Let's have a look, see. Do, 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 do. Oh. oh. Oh, it's a lady. It's a lady. Princess. Ballerina. I thought it was a princess. <laughs> hmm. This is interesting. Have you found something relevant, Narahodo-san? Well, no, I... Uh, I mean, it looks like it might be interesting. Oh, it suddenly got clearer. Uh, I can't read a single word, I'm afraid. No, nor can I, but look at this picture. Perhaps it's about a beautiful young Russian princess, do you think? She is very pretty, isn't she? I suppose you enjoy articles like this, too. <laughs> oh my god! She's <laughs> I, I, I don't She's know. She's savage! I, I, I can't make any sense of it! Ah, I'm glad you noticed this article. That I pointed you to just <laughs> moments before. <laughs> He's like leaning over Sasato's shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> Allow me to give you a short summary of its contents. Oh, thank you. He pops up everywhere, this Mr. Sholmes. It's about the disappearance of a young lady last night. Renowned prima, uh, prima, prima. ballerina of the no Novovich Ballet disappears from Shanghai. A lot of stuff During, happening in Shanghai, it seems. Yeah, <laughs> During yeah. a performance in Shanghai, the famous dancer was reported missing. Well, Shanghai is also, of course, where the other chap's from. Yeah. Also Russian. Mm-hmm. Dun, dun, dun. She is, of course, the talented young Nikolina Pavlov. Pavlova was that. It looked like Pavlova. Why are Russian <laughs> names so hard to remember? I'm sure it was Pavlov. I thought it was Pavlova. It was Pavlova. Pavlova. Uh, <laughs> oh, Nikola Pavlova. Okay. <laughs> Nikola Pavlova. It would appear the woman was in costume when she was found to be missing from her dressing room. Wearing the diamond tiara you see pictured, which is worth some 20,000 rubles. What's a ruble? No. Oh, <laughs> oh uh, how much is 20,000 rubles? I have no idea, but I'm quite sure... It must be an un unbelievable sum of money. Suzato-san's eyes are shining like diamonds themselves. The tiara is property of the Novovich Ballet. It would seem the director is beside herself with worry. For the tiara, not, not the, the dancer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say the same thing. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, I'm not surprised. The company is most anxious to recover both Miss Pavlova and the valuable tiara. But if they've only one or the other, we'd really prefer the tiara. <laughs> <laughs> they've requested international assistance at all ports with sailings to Great Britain. Could this be another case of a Russian fleeing his or her country? It does seem to be the Russian. Wow! Oh! <laughs> Damn! It does seem to be the Russian thing to do. I'm not going to even dignify that with a response, Mr. Good. Maraholdo. Good on you, Cesaro. Yes, good. Uh, thank, thank you, Cesaro. Because they're all trying to just rush in away from the country. Oh. Get out. Get out. <laughs> out now. <laughs> You'll never forget me. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> The article about the ballerina has been entered into the court record. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that voice, man. Okay, oh, so we've read that. Wait, do we... I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do we look at the front? It's the man. It the man. It's the, it the man with the big nose and the long face. And the big beard. Big I guess we should... Great it. bushy beard. Oh, the great bushy beard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I cannot read a word of Russian. No, me neither. I have no idea what any of this says. Allow me to. <laughs> Herlock Sholmes here to assist. The pair of you floundering is a sorry sight. Allow me, Herlock Sholmes, to offer some assistance. Stop ruining my boy. <laughs> the article on the front page of this newspaper is concerned with a fearsome Russian revolutionary. It reads, Revolutionary villain Borshevik flees Russia via Shanghai. Yes, you told us that before. It reveals also that those who see the man's beard with their own eyes will never live to tell the tale. Egads. 
Well, that's oh convenient because we have now seen his beard and we must now die. And by die, uh, no! I mean it's time to wrap up the episode. But we need to at least get off the newspaper so we can save the game, we need to pal. Save. I can't even bring up the menu while I'm in the newspaper. <laughs> oh, oh, all right then. Well, we'll <laughs> die. In a, we'll die in a minute then. We'll die once we'll we put the paper we'll down. Prolong that. We'll prolong that death. Oh my goodness, he is fearsome. Well, presumably the newspaper photography was all right, wasn't he? Yeah, the solution was he all right? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to find. <laughs> The solution, is, the solution is obvious, of course. If he despises his beard to that degree, he need only shave it off. I'm I'm not quite sure that's the problem, Mr. Sholmes. There we go. Okay, okay let's get out of here. What was the problem? <laughs> we'll have to find out next time. Just oh, what was no. he investigating? <laughs> Curses. Curses. Well, thank you, everybody, so much for watching and for spending this hour with us. If you enjoy what we do, why don't you go ahead and leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below, hit that subscribe button and ring the little bell to get notifications about when we post new content. Uh, you can also find our social media linked in the description and uh, feel free to reach out and say hello or just, uh, you know, talk with us about the uh, <laughs> Your love for the Great Ace Attorney, because we have a lot of fun with this game. And yeah. Danganronpa, yes. too. But, yes. until next time, take care, everybody. Goodbye. And and forget not the name of Herlock Show. I don't think anyone's going to forget that for a while. <laughs> See you later, guys. <laughs>